Hello everyone, this is Jordan from PineExcel.com and today I'm going to show you how to use and update our actual versus target Excel spreadsheet template. As in all our templates, no macros, VBA or add-ins have been used. This means that it can be comfortably used even by less advanced users. Also, this template is completely password free, which means that you can adapt it according to your specific needs. We are very proud with this template and truly believe it is one of the best currently on the internet. So let's see what can be found here, how does it work and how to update it. When you first open the template, you will notice that no worksheets can be seen, as with all our other products. This is because they are hidden so that the view of the file is as close to a modern standalone application as possible. The user can navigate the file via the navigation pane on the left. The first sheet is the monthly overview. Here you have detailed information about the performance for a selected month. On the top you have a donut chart showing the average actual versus target percentage. The color of the donut is dynamic and changes based on the percentage. The different color levels are of course easily changeable from the settings menu. On the right we have a line chart showing the average actual versus target percentage for all available periods. This can be very useful to get a quick look at the overall performance throughout the year and to compare month to month. The bottom two charts show the actual versus target percentage per item and per category for each period. These charts are controlled by the slicers on the left. The next sheet is the item analysis. Here detailed information about a selected item is presented for all available periods. On the top we have general information about the item. What is the category, the format, is it higher or lower the better? What is the target? How many times has it been above or below the target for all available periods? As well as the average result and average actual versus target result for all periods. The chart shows the monthly performance of the selected item in a visually engaging way. If the target has been reached, the bars are green, if not, they are red. The direction is also taken into account here. For example, we can see that the direction of item 3 is down. This means that the actual result should stay below 1000. And we see that all bars above the target are red. Note how the format of the data labels of the bar chart is dynamic and shows the correct format for each item, percentage, currency or volume. Although this is not easy to achieve without VBA, we are very happy to confirm that we managed to implement it here. The chart at the bottom gives the users the ability to quickly compare the actual versus target performance of the selected items. The data is available for all periods. Next is the versus period menu. At the top again we have general information for the selected item, category, format, direction and target. In addition to that we also have two new fields number of months back and average difference. The number of months back shows how many periods back the actual result is compared to. If you set it to 12, this will give the year over year or current year versus previous year comparison. However, our example data is only 12 months long, so we have set it to 6. This number is easily changeable from the settings tab. The first chart shows the actual versus previous period percentage for all available months. The second chart contains all available information. It shows the actual result for all available periods for the selected items, its target and also plots the previous period line chart, allowing for detailed visual analysis. Here again, the format of the data labels is dynamic and changes based on the selected item. Next we have the heat map. It allows for a quick impression of the overall performance of all items based on the cell color. It is important to point out here that we have made it very easy to change the color levels of the heat map without having to go to the conditional formatting settings. On the left, you can directly change what the lowest, middle and highest values should be. This will change the color grading of the heat map instantly. Next come the two one-pagers. The first one is in a table format. It is designed to show the actual results for all items and for all periods. It also gives the general information for each item, such as category, format and target. An average year-to-date result is also available at the end. Such a view can often be very useful for quick performance analysis. The next one pager is based on charts. Here each item has its own minimalistic chart showing just the actual result for all periods and the target. This is a very nice way of gaining an overall impression of the actual performance. The charts can be hidden or changed to show a different item independently. 
Currently, the template is set up to show up to 12 different charts. Next come the data input menu. There are only three columns that the user has to fill in in order to update the whole file. All columns in grey are calculations that automatically expand with each new row. Next come the settings. Here is where the items are changed or added. This is also where you can change the number of periods back for the versus period calculations. In the third table is where the color levels for the donor charge in the monthly overview sheet can be adjusted. The final table is something very interesting. Here you can change the names of the menus in the navigation pane if you desire. Also, for the first time in our templates, you can have custom pages that are pre-built in the template structure. You just need to type the name and the new page will appear in the navigation menu. We have set up two custom pages. The first one contains a blank pivot chart and the second page is completely blank ready for all your custom reports. Next, there are two mechanics sheets, which contain all the calculations and pivot charts for the different visualizations. The mechanics one pager is where the one pager charts are controlled from. Finally, there is a detailed instructions sheet. Now, let's see how this template can be updated. First, let's add data for a new month. Go to data input and at the bottom add a new period. It is important to add the date as in the previous rows. Always use the first day of each new month. Next, using the drop-down menu, select an item and add the actual result. Note how the format is automatically changed based on the item and all calculations in the gray cells are updated as well. Now, just go to data and click refresh. Click OK on all messages and this is it. All visualizations, tables and charts are updated. Now let's see how a new item can be added. Go to Settings General. In the first table, add the new item and choose its category. Select the format, the target and choose its direction. If it's up, then the result will be the higher the better. Now that we have added a new item, go to Data Input. You can see that the new item is now available from the drop-down menu. Just add the actual result, refresh the template and you are ready. You can see that the new item is now available in all tables and visualizations. To add it as a chart in the one pager, just go to Settings, Mechanics, One Pager. Remove the date filter and choose the new item. There, now the whole template has been updated with the newest data. As you can see, this Excel spreadsheet template is very powerful and offers a variety of visualizations for business intelligence and data analysis. Probably the best one on the internet. So don't hesitate to download your copy today and make data analysis easy and fun. Don't forget that this dashboard is completely unlocked and no macros or add-ins have been used. If you like this, Make sure to check out our website and YouTube channel for more dynamic Excel dashboards and templates. This was Jordan from PineExcel.com. Thank you very much for watching.